London, Glasgow or Belfast and please do make it clear which one you want. The phone number again for the discussion on food is 01992 Wellbeing is taking a break for a couple of weeks but we'll be back at the same time on January the 7th. Have a good Christmas and a happy new year. On Sunday night at 8.25, Il Poverello, the story of St. Francis of Assisi. More portraits exist of Francis than of any other saint in Christendom. During his lifetime, he liked to be known as Il Poverello, the little poor man, and his goal was to be the most modest, the most meek, the most rigorous servant of God. Humility and poverty were his regular catchwords, yet before he died, he was revered by popes and princes. Every 1st of May, the people of Assisi remember their medieval heritage. Il Poverello, the story of St. Francis of Assisi, Sunday night at 8.25, here on 4. Next tonight on 4, a chance to enjoy Miles Davis live in London. To my unfaithful young wife, I leave my faithful old Bentley and my Chippendale chairs to my ass of a son. My San Domingo pale cream sherry I leave to Reynolds. We both know that the finest sherry comes from Spain and only a truly British palate could fully appreciate it. But the estate... That goes with the San Domingo. What? <laughs> San Domingo pale cream sherry from Gonzales Bias. When you've had one of those grey days that begins with bills and boring headlines, with the coffee jar empty and no food for the cat, when you've missed lunch, missed the bank, and a bus has only just missed you, when the world looks a bit of a mess, what you need is music. Music to lift your spirits, soothe your mind, and capture your heart. You need reflections. Reflections is a collection of 18 superb instrumental favorites, including themes from Brideshead, Deer Hunter, and the Flame Trees of Thika, Albatross, Chariots of Fire, and Annie's Song. Reflections is an album of great music to play at the end of the day. Reflections. It's a happy ending. You want to know what Annie Walker is getting for Christmas. If you want to know why Rex Harrison doesn't own a house. If you want to know how a taxi driver won half a million on the horses. If you want to know what Mike Yarwood says behind Stanley Baxter's back. And if you want to know what's coming on ITV and Channel 4 over the week ahead, you need TV Times. There's so much more than TV Times in TV Times Magazine. There are many off-the-peg soups to choose from, but so much more goes into a Baxter soup. The original recipe is created in our family kitchen using only the very best ingredients. We prepare, season and cook with that little extra care. Today, every Baxter soup tastes as good as the original, made to measure quality for little more than an off-the-peg price. On Sunday at 7, the reunion of the weavers. Of those who've gone before, and we'll all be reunited on a new and sunlit shore. They sold millions of records in jukeboxes for one thing, on radio for another until they were blacklisted. 
In short, anything that deals with the daily lives of people makes a folk song. And the Weavers sang it to millions. Would you look at that? Barbie doll and three stuffed dummies. I swear on Pete's chin whiskers, if we'd known how witless we looked, we would have given up music on the spot and turned to something socially useful like chicken plucking. The reunion of the Weavers. Wasn't that a time? Sunday at 7, here on 4. Our final programme tonight at 12.50 is The Walking Dead, a film with Boris Karloff. Now, Jazz on 4, introduced by Peter Clayton. Good evening. Well, our first flourish of trumpets has been, as near as we could make it, a chronological one. But not entirely, of course, because the last people on earth to obey rules are jazz trumpet players. There's Freddie Hubbard, coming long after Dizzy Gillespie. He can play either the most advanced music imaginable or wander into very popular, less artistically demanding crossover music, which pays the rent and leaves some money to spare. Wynton Marsalis, young though he is, is not charging down some strange new road, but apparently broadening and strengthening the old one. Miles Davis, well, since his days at the age of about 20 with Charlie Parker, his line of development has fallen into four distinct stages, the last two of them taking him into a unique form of jazz rock. For a long time, owing to a painful physical disability and other illness, he didn't play at all. Last year he came back, and in the April of this year, after a long absence, he appeared once more in Britain. Now, it ought to be possible to tell if an artist has moved into his fifth period, shall you say. But Miles Davis is so complex, and the subtleties of what he does take such a long time to sink in that I think it's too early to say. But you have a chance now to make up your own minds. Miles Davis. <laughs> 